Ankle fusion surgery. Uh, it's good surgery. I said that before in my previous videos, but it's certainly surgery that some patients have and absolutely hate. And we're going to explore that uh, in our video today. Uh, once again, uh, thank you for watching the Foot and Ankle Orthopedic Surgeon. I uh, hope to provide you videos on uh, patient education regarding foot and ankle problems and, and surgery. Please subscribe to our videos. Now, as I said before, I think ankle fusion is a good operation, but we often get comments like these when people post videos about ankle fusions. Um, a lot of patients get a good result, but some really don't. We're going to explore that today. The number one reason we're having pain after a, an ankle fusion is relative to the position that the ankle is fused in. So if the effusion is plantar flex, meaning the foot is pointed down, then that's a problem. Um, what the surgeon's aiming in terms of trying to put the foot in terms of its position is something called plantar grade, which is roughly 90 degrees to your calf or the floor, as you can see on the, uh, on the photo here, right? And that's where your heel can strike and then you can properly get your weight over the foot. Now, if the fusion is put in a plantar flex position like this, you can see that the heel will be slightly off the floor when the uh, and the front of the foot will hit the ground first. And patients will often get a lot of pain with that front arrow is the one that's pointing up. Um, pain underneath the foot and also uh, a bit further along. Now, pain reason number two um, is that the position of the ankle is fused in a position called varus, which means it points towards the middle of the body. Now, the normal position the surgeon is aiming for in terms of um, looking at the ankle from the back is about 5 degrees of valgus or 10 degrees of valgus which means that the foot is actually pointing slightly towards the little toe as is pointed out there, the arrow is pointing to the little toe and that's where your, your foot normally sits in terms of where the heel is. Now if the ankle is in varus it actually points towards the big toe as we're pointing out here on the diagram and that'll cause patients a fair bit of pain on the outer border of their foot. So if we compare there compared to where you're supposed to sit on the right compared to where varus is on the left is a difference. Now pain reason number three is if the ankle is actually fused in valgus. Now we want it fused in valgus, meaning pointing towards little toe, but excessive valgus is once again a problem. So um, the surgeon, once again, just to reiterate as before, the surgeon is aiming for five to 10 degrees pointing towards the little toe, and that is known as valgus. As we said, they're pointing towards the little toe on the arrow there, right? Now, if it's in, ex in excessive valgus, too much towards the little toe, then this is what the picture looks like on the left. So that you can see more of the toes when you're looking at the ankle from the back, and you can see it's very different to the picture on the right. Um, we're pointing out there more toes that you can see there, and what happens is you get more pain on the instep of the ankle, um, and it certainly puts strain on other structures in the foot and the ankle and will cause you pain. Now, the fourth reason is actually that the, um, the fusion unfortunately doesn't take, and this can be a real problem. Um, it's known as a non-union, and certainly there will be patients out there that have had this happen. Now, we're just gonna show you some, uh, some x-ray films of that, what that might mean. So this patient had arthritis. The reason I say that is because his joint space is very narrow. This is his ankle. He's got what's called subchondral sclerosis. It means a lot of white stuff around, um, around the edges of the ankle. The joint space is completely obliterated. So he had an ankle fusion. We got in there by removing part of his fibula, which is the small bone on the side, um, and had some screws put in to hold it. Now, unfortunately, this, this shot on the right here shows that the gap is widened again, meaning the fusion hasn't taken, and some of the bone's actually been eaten away. And so this poor patient had to actually have their surgery redone. Now that means starting weight bearing, again, staying off the foot for three months again, trying to get wounds to heal, it's a real problem. Now the risk of this happening is about 9 to 13%, so at least one in 10 patients will have this happen. And that means they'll have pain even, though the, even after the fusion, their hardware might break, and they will often need the surgery redone. And that means more longer recovery, like it's more than six months to recover from an ankle fusion. Going through that again is terrible. And so no wonder those patients hate the surgery. All right, so you just need to know those risks. Now we've got a video on the risks and complications of uh, our ankle fusion surgery. Please take a look. As always, um, if you can hit our subscribe button, we'd be very thankful so that we can make some more videos for you. Leave something in the comments as to what you'd like to see, um, any further videos you, you'd like um, to know about. And uh, as always, subscribe to the Foot and Ankle Orthopedic Surgeon. Thanks.